Alrighty, got out of there with no problems. Uh, I did actually learn something interesting. If you idle Wario, which I did since I was doing stuff on the computer while escaping since e or normal mode has a generous time limit. Uh, Wario has a panic attack instead of lifting weights or whatever he does. Or whatever he... I mean, don't mean that as in I don't know what he does. I mean he does lift various things besides lifting weights like skipping rope when you leave him to idle for five or six seconds. But instead of something like... Something like... Oh man, this has really great music. I forgot about that. Something like... Five, four, three, two... Okay, thank you for making me look crazy, Wario, but most of the time if you leave him idle... <sighs> uh, I'm kind of upset by that, but anyway, yeah, most of the time if you leave him idle, um... He starts lifting weights or skipping rope or something, and... Instead of doing that, he just freaks out and dances really quick when the timer is running. Which makes sense, considering the level's, like, gonna freaking self-destruct for some reason. Yes, the game really didn't... I think there's a story I was ignoring or something, but... It didn't do a whole very good job explaining why anything happened. Whoops, oh well, spawn that enemy away. Uh, yeah, there's just a whole lot to do here. I actually made a level of this in the custom stage in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and it's like my freaking most viewed video for some reason. Yeah, if you ever want to get a lot of subscribers fast, just make a bunch of Super Smash Bros. Brawl videos with somewhat unique content. Uh, before I really got into Let's Plays really well, just was sort of like, Hey everyone, I'm scared of video games and I talk like I have a weird in my mouth. Um, yep, I don't know what to say. Yeah, when I was doing that, I uploaded a bunch of Brawl move swap thingies, and those got me, like, most subscribers. I think I'm just now, since doing Mario and Pikmin, gotten quite the amount of subscribers and views every day since when I was uploading a bunch of move swap videos, and since then I've deleted them all and compiled them into one because I was getting sick of getting comments on all the different ones, and I don't want to be known for a bunch of dumb trivial Super Smash Brothers Brawl things anyone can do. I want to be known for Let's Play things anyone can do, but I do them particularly in a unique, witty, handsome way. And by unique, I don't mean like no one else does it. I mean a way that I do it. That is not overwhelmingly overwhelming, but still a thing, kind of. And I'm ranting uh, so much it's not like I'm the slightest bit insecure or anything. Anyway, this is how you get to the other side of that wall in this level. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I thought this was a really long level, but uh, maybe it's just hard if you wanna get everything and I always end up accidentally getting all the keys and stuff anyway. But yeah, this is actually one of my favorite levels now that I think about it. It's not anywhere near as big as I initially thought, and now that I'm playing on a TV, that map is like even more painfully obvious and it's actually helpful if you pay attention to it. Probably could have. Oops. Yeah, there's stuff up there you want to get. I don't know if it's only for gold. I think it might be, but what the heck? I'll show it off since this level was shorter than I was expecting it to be. I'm already three fourths of the way done with what I need to progress, and I'm only four minutes in. So I like how it's just basically weird ghosts. Or I cannot tell for the life of me if those are weird ghost faces or if they're some kind of lamp that looks a lot like a weird ghost face and happens to have a red bottom and eye colored sides and no they're definitely weird pose actually I just noticed they're fires with faces not ghosts with faces or yeah from where I'm sitting I can't see distinct colors and contrast very well on my TV and I, I only saw the face for a while and saw that there was fire somewhere in there but I didn't see that there it was fire with a face but anyway why wasn't it just a poto boo besides the fact wario appears to live in a different dimension than not wario 
So I don't like this one just because I really, really, really don't like this Getty. I forgot to complain about it in the last video because it was in the ending and I was rushing, but... Wow, I really hate this guy. He's frigging frozen booger. I don't know what it is, but if a video game character ever has a booger like that, I just automatically hate them. I'm not a prude or anything. I hope I've made that clear if you've watched a few of my videos. Uh, but that is something that just totally pisses me off for some reason. I think it respawns. No, it doesn't. Oh, well. You won't get to see me collect a bunch of hundred coins. Hopefully you'll survive. This isn't actually how you do it. I'm just, like, doing a throwback to Mario World. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, I forgot that it's just random places in the hotel that you get them for no reason. And then the CD is actually kind of well hidden somewhere, but screw that. I just need the frog and I'll be ready to go. I forget if that switch is useful for anything else. I imagine it would be. Oh yeah, here's the frog. You need to get a stupid monkey up here. I like the weird tree frogs that throw fat Wario's at you and Wario Land 3 better. And I think some totally other thing doesn't Wario Land 2, and I don't even think fat Wario's in Wario Land because Wario Land didn't have transformations. It was basically Mario Land, except you were playing as a likable character with likable power-ups. Well, I guess rabbits were kind of likable, but uh, enough multi-tiered tangents. Okay, so there's absolutely no way I could survive and keep this video or get this video over 11 minutes with me not wasting time doing anything after level, so that's pretty cool. I was pretty sure this was going to at least take me one and a half parts and I would have to do Cat Bat at the end of the second part to even it out or something, but Apparently Cat Bat gets its own video because I am feeling a little bit too tired to go on all the way to the Ruby Passage tonight. And for some reason the first level there is really seems the hardest to me because the rest are kind of fun and wacky, I think. I can't remember exactly. The oh yeah, I hate 40 Below Fridge a little bit. But yeah, for some reason mach the Machine Passage or whatever the first level's called, just really, really, really upsets me. I don't think it's Machine Passage because that's a level in Kirby Air Ride, and I mixed it up with the fact that that is the Machine Passage, and can I even get down here? Why am I doing that when I can just do this? Although, that's kind of weird that Zombie Wario is, like, one pixel bigger than a regular Wario. I really hate how punching in, like, charging right into an axe hurts you. Try a little more realism, Wario games. But, wow, this level is actually totally easy, it's, I'd say, yeah, a lot of levels have the quality, I don't think Palm Tree Paradise or Toy Block Tower are particularly striking examples of it, but this and the first level in the Ruby Passage are, like, basically the hardest in the entire passage for me, or, not this, but the first level in this are basically the hardest ones because I was clearly very okay at Arabian Night. I enjoy Fiery Cavern. This one's just horrible. And then, yeah, as you just saw, uh, what? Whoops, forgot. Keys are... I knew I was forgetting something. One of those froggy passages, I imagine. Uh, yeah, most of the time getting Keezer is just so automatic I don't pay attention to it. Apparently that is not the best of things to do. I will do what I can here and probably off-screen the rest because I don't think anyone cares at this point. A little bit too much had been unintentionally let's Yes, let's off screen for me to call this a super let's play with no off screening. Oh crap, I hate you so much, zombie making enemy. At least the one in freaking Wario Land 3 was cool looking and had a limited range and didn't really piss me off. I mean, what is this supposed to be? A freaking undead aerodactyl wearing Link's hat and a earring? I can't figure out what it's supposed to be and it's really pissing me off. Is it a Koopa? What is it? Why is it 
in my game. Why can't you charge through those, Wario? I think your head is a little stronger than an axe. So yeah, this level quickly switches from my favorite everyone's happy type. Oh yeah, there's this, which I kind of like, and I did a horrible, horrible job rendering this in my custom stage, but it's a shortcut up to this level, which might be where Keezer is. Please, please, please. Yay, it's Keezer. Okay. Da -da -da. Whoops, I did that too soon. Whoops. Yep. That's not working. Oh, please let me get Keezer in the next 30 seconds. I mean, I would be seriously surprised if I couldn't, except I keep doing it the freaking wrong way. Oh, well, um, hmm. I'll give this one more shot. I might be able to just make it if I, like, cut out the second I get Keezer. There we go. Yep, okay, smell you later. I actually did that with a lot more spare time than I thought, but yeah, I'll get out of the level and meet up with you next time.